President Joe Biden is expected to address the verdict in Donald Trump's criminal hush money trial once the jury hands down a decision, RadarOnline.com has learned. In a surprising development to come as closing arguments in Trump's criminal trial are scheduled to kick off on Tuesday, sources close to the White House revealed that Biden was preparing to acknowledge the embattled ex-president's legal fate. According to Politico, Biden's statement will be made in a White House setting and not on the current president's campaign trail. This is an important moment, and the president first and foremost needs to stress that the American system works, even and especially in an election year, one source told Politico regarding the matter. And in a measured way, the insider continued, it becomes part of his argument against Trump too, do Americans really want this? Another insider corroborated the rumors that President Biden was preparing to address Trump's imminent criminal hush money verdict. While Biden was not expected to run to the briefing room to discuss the matter, he was expected to address the fact that a former U.S. president was tried for criminal charges for the first time in the nation's history. I don't think, Biden, needs to run to the briefing room to talk about this, Jennifer Palmieri, a former communications director for President Barack Obama, explained. She continued, but, at some point, he should address the conviction saying that a jury of Donald Trump's peers have convicted him of a crime and it would do extraordinary damage to the standing of the United States and to the credibility of our democratic system for someone Americans found guilty of a crime to then be elected president. Democratic House Representative Don Bayer of Virginia also chimed in on the matter. Congressman Bayer noted that it was not important to rub Trump's verdict in should the ex-president be found guilty. I don't think it's important to rub it in, House Representative Bayer said. I don't think anybody on our side should be reacting with glee. It just should be a tragedy that an American president has been convicted of real crimes, he added. Congressman Jim McGovern of Massachusetts agreed. At some point, people have to get real and say you really want this man in the Oval Office? The Democratic lawmaker said. Do you really want him representing the people of this country? House Representative McGovern added. 